Wagwan, 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 peeps. So this is Lady B. What's up? Welcome to another video. And guys, in this one, we're going to talk a little bit about some politics and other things. So right now, you want to know, say, Dennis Meadows, I'm telling you guys, in get himself kick off of the PNP train. Yes, he, there was a viral video going around of some of the things that he was saying. And it is relating to scamming. You understand? Me show that in a one video, but me not release the video yet. Me probably release it before that one year. But my God, man. So me go make an ear some of what he say. And then we will get more into the discussion. Me know if you can't hear this. All right, so this is what he was saying. I don't know if I'm not hear it good, but me go get my liquor um speaker. Um, if you wanna hear why when I say, when I speak to you, man, you're gonna call him. Especially when you call him from Chopper. Let me tell you straight up. I mean, can speak openly. I am no problem. Why say so wrong at so many levels? Cigarette. Yes. All right. Business, yes. There's a reason why money is called liquidity. Yes. It's liquid. And if you don't tie it on your hand, you it's going to your hand no matter what you have. Yes. So don't know what you do. And I speak to you, man. So basically, he was saying that nothing is wrong with what the chopper guys them are do. Um and him get a whole heap of backlash he got a lot of backlash right and one of the most recent backlash was the fact that the pnp leader dismissed him right so me I go he put a public service announcement up and Guys, me don't know what wrong with my computer because this they show the word them. Um, where do I call it again? Like back way. So I'm gonna have to read the public service announcement, you know. So let me get and but before me read that, you know what? Yeah, me go read it. So no, we hold on a little bit there. Um, I don't wanna be all over the place. So after he made that comment and people were very, very agitated. Pe what the heck? People are agitated and upset about the situation. You know? Mm -mm, roast egg. <laughs> That's Christ. Hey, and people are doing some stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the press release. 
press release press release this is a press release right here right here it's still a show back way but anyway memory day it said it said the president of the people's national party mark golden announces that no let me start it from the scratch pmp media statement for immediate release dennis meadows remove as pnp provisional candidate for north trelawney i repeat dennis meadows removed as pmp provisional candidate candidate for north trelawney the president of the pnp People's National Party, Mark Golding, announces that Mr. Dennis Meadows has been removed as the party's provisional candidate for North Trelawney. PNP leader Mark Golding stated, CDE Meadows' continuation as the candidate in Utenable in light of his irregular remarks. God, I don't know what I'm using a big word here for. On the platform given this coming given this coming one of Jamaica's most serious and national security challenges this not sound good I want I, all right let me start over <laughs> we need too excited let me start over the president of the PNP Mark Golding announces that Mr. Dennis Meadows has been removed as the party provid provisional candidate for North Trelawney. PNP leader Mark Golding stated, C.T. Meadows' continuation as the candidate is untenable in light of his error <laughs> erogious remarks on the platform given that scamming is the one of Jamaica's most serious national security challenges let us let us precedent let this precedent be a warning to all who serve in the PNP under my leadership we are demanding higher standards of accountability. Jamaica will no longer tolerate weak, unprincipled leaders who say one thing but do another. Jamaicans deserve better and I will give it to them. Big up yourself, Mark Golden. We extend our gratitude to Mr. Meadows for his contribution during this time as the PNP provisional candidate and wish him the best in his future endeavors. For more information, contact Dr. Dayton Campbell, General Secretary, PNP Media Unit at 876-402-3160. That is what the PNP leader had to say regarding to this man. We are uh, encouraged this scam him saying no, see nothing wrong with it. After people work their hard earned money and them uh, get scam. Mm -hmm. How the heck him for saying no, see nothing wrong with it? Now make we look in at some of the comments on uh, Mark Golden page. So one person said, well done, my leader. You have shown that you are principled visionary leader of the party who stands for transparency and accountability. Another person said integrity at its finest. Another person said Mark is a true leader. Another person said this is the right move. Candidates might think that their opinion can be separated from the people they have chosen to represent or intended to represent. They must think before they talk. Such comments have international implications. Another comment said, lead by example. One said, the Prime Minister, accountability and honesty. Oh, the next Prime Minister. 
This a person say where him do can't rub out. <laughs> him can't nobody say it. Because him done say it already. <laughs> Let me read this again. What him did do can't rub out. Him can't nobody say it because him don't say it already. Jesus <laughs> Christ. The job we can do easy though. We need leaders, not friends. It's job. It's a job you are doing. This one say action over hype. Real leadership. Somebody said he was a promising candidate. But you, you got to think about what you're saying. You can't just go ahead and just say stuff like that. One thing I love with you, your integrity is impeccable. My awesome prime minister. So this person said, this, are negative, this are comment where said the punishment is too severe. And he made a mistake and he apologized for it. And this person is asking for a second chance. What do you think, guys? Do you think this... Man who encouraged scamming want a second chance. Somebody say you could have given him a su suspension. This person say, um, it's a white power move and people are like say what they say is wrong. Um, let the, or your corporation be Lord and swift. So descendants of those ends mm. I'm not going to read, but I read that. Somebody said you need to remove yourself to cause you're going to be Go say no war fee. No, till when you win election. <laughs> them can't do nothing. You know, business with that. Them, them can't do nothing. You know, business with that. I'm lost right there. And some people, a lot of the comments are positive. I think you have more, more positive than negative. And a lot of people say good leadership and all of that. So, you know, that's what happened. You know, as a leader, they have to be careful how they sell the party. You know, you have to be careful how you sell the party. Why is Andrew Olness live? Oh, I guess that was a live he was doing when that video... Uh -huh. I saw you go, man. One thing with Tony Matter and when him do a live, him not see a V, no, brother. If you not catch him when he live, you know, nothing to talk about, you know. So, Mr. Marcus put up one post for him page. I sure music no live on no man yard. I sure not nice. Um, but I take down notice for your video. I mean, I know if a Marcus produce it with Coyote Arawa. You know? So, Mr. Marcus put up here. Oh, and this guy named DJ Chiga who always put up um, music because when I acting and and cargo was clashing were clashing he would put up you know the most current music them dj trigger yeah and uh, there was a copyright removal request me get one of that already you know about two years ago and me can't it's like me and i know big old what you that call it youtube i mean just at, you know the trying world i mean never when they make no money and uh, them put up one copy, copyright sitting my almost get me channel me just look it up a while ago and me see it. One little video me do. And the person sent out a copyright. Take down notice. When you get a copyright take down notice, you have like three things. You can contact the person and negotiate with them. You can, um, and because the person send an email, the email is automatically sent. You can contact the person and negotiate with them and tell them to stop the copyright thing. Or you can take it down and you not have no repercussion. Or if you not take it down within seven days, YouTube take down a thing and strike your channel. Me never check my email all the time. 
because you know you know sometimes you know check email every day so the copyright thing was there for about 60 and the night the next day youtube would have take it down and strike my channel and mr god just help me if you see the copyright take down strike notice and Mr. said me reach out to the person because they send an email and this man did not answer me so me just hurry up and delete the video and me delete every other video when me have with that person there and guess what now no? i never ever use another video with that person there if me if me mention anything with them say me always say like a jamaican or a, a concerned citizen or a artist or a, what you call it a artist or we say some people in the entertainment world i don't call their name I mean, I, I mean, I really tell nobody who. Maybe one or two people know who. But it's just very sad. Because my channel never did make no money. My channel was not making a cent. Because I did young. It was a really young channel. And this money sent copyright strike. Take down strike. And it's a video where they do a top about a big up vibes cartel. And a big up. And then the time there, you know, and everybody there talk about this and talk about that. And Mr. All right, let me review the video. And then do then take then send YouTube off of my master. But by the grace of God, prayer. By the grace of God, it I saw the copyright notice one day before they would have strike my channel. One day before them strike my channel. So these things kind of, you know, me, me, me go through it already. And then me know people who go through it rough too. But, you know, it is what it is. So DJ Chiga received a copyright um, removal request. Based on implicable copyright law, we remove your video. But anyway, YouTube just removed the video. Me glad they ain't striking channel. But this, this is not bad because all them do is remove the video. But you have some of the people them, when they contact YouTube, them not only say remove the video, they say remove the video and strike the channel. That was what would have happened to me. But I think this one, they only remove the video. We receive a copyright removal request for your video based on and applicable copyright law we remove your video from youtube um and if song say coyote world them and it's a street vibes rhythm 2.0 so that's a, um something they read him not nice the producer not nice content use street vibes instrumental in the entire video not nice records limited um nathaniel whatever if you can't tell but the only thing with this is like, if you can contact the people, them something like a rhythm like this, you know, it's kind of different from just a video where people come up and talk about things where they happen in the country and in the, in the, the, the reggae arena and you decide to comment on it or play what them say. So, I mean, I really, um, like this now, I really think that them should have contact not nice to get permission because who is a real YouTuber, them no say. Once you put up certain things, if it's not going to be a copyright removal, it's going to be a copyright claim. And sometimes when a person requests it to be removed, they can either do a copyright removal, they can do a copyright claim where the video still stay up there and then get a percentage of the money where you make, or they can do a copyright take down notice and strike your channel. So... Then can ask the take down your channel, take down your song, and once it take down, not the song, the video, anything, once it take down, then strike your channel. And that's what Dr. Love always talk about. Maria, Dr. Love, because Dr. Love, don't give me permission now, so, for um, using video them. You understand? So, that's why I always read Dr. Love. But some of them, then we give you a copyright take down notice, and that's not enough. They will strike your channel. Let's say you know check. Let's say you check your email and you know see 
so they send you a copyright take down notice. You understand? If you not see that, yeah, they might go strike a channel because once once YouTube have to take it down, within seven days, if you not take it down, YouTube take it down and strike your channel. So I tell you, say, we're not careful. And there's a way to use people's stuff once you do your comments and everything. And, you know, like you review the video or you make a comment on it or you show it for informational purposes. But, you know, and me not really blame YouTube still. YouTube just to go off our, the, um, the policies. So whoever going to be like, you know, interested in this thing, make sure you know the copyright laws and you follow them and even if you put up one something where say copyright notice this and this and that and whatever like me have you know me nothing because if the people them don't want you use their content and they want to strike your channel they can still strike your channel yes they can still strike your channel so when people are talking about me, I go strike channel. Or when Auntie Dana talk about striking channel, I don't use an Auntie Dana video them. Me did use one or two video with me here. She talks, say, she they go strike channel. Um, I stop using them because at the end of the day, it's not worth it because there are so many other content out there for people to use. And if one or two or three people say, don't use any content, well, don't use any content. Go and go make your own content. Sit down and chat just like how them sit down and chat. Even if you go sit down and read news. <laughs> but anyway, I just had to put that out there because me see, me did see this um, Marcos, me did see Marcos post DJ Trigger copyright removal request thing from off of YouTube. You understand? So you just have to know who for content you can use and who for content you cannot use. And if somebody come out and say, don't use your content, don't use any content, then don't use any content. You know, so I can still do that video here because I did have that video here with Wycliffe. Oh, I didn't need to edit it all. I didn't need to do some editing. That's the problem. That's why I never get for use it because I never edit it up. Anyway, moving on, make we hear this is what Mark Golin had to say to his people who he said he want them to exercise patience in waiting on the election result. PNP voters and supporters, this is your comrade leader, Mark Golding. I understand your anxiety at the long time it is taking to finalize the results of Monday's local government elections. We are awaiting the final counts and the numbers from the Electoral Office of Jamaica. I want to assure you that we are being vigilant and we have reliable and experienced persons in place monitoring what is happening and observing the counts as they take place. Please be assured that should we believe there to be any discrepancies, we will take appropriate action to defend your democratic rights. I personally want to thank you for coming out to vote. As you can see from the early numbers, some divisions were won or lost by very small margins, so every vote counts. I am thanking you for voting for change. Integrity will prevail. So hold tight. The real work starts now. God bless you all. All right, so that was what Mark Golden had to say about the election. So I must say, all tight, everything will soon be all right. All right, so there's a couple more things I'm going to talk about, and this one is about, let me get this off. This one is about, um, let me close that window here. This one is about what Bob Mar um, Rita Marley granddaughter had to say. Rita Marley granddaughter had to say this. And, um, 
you know let me know what you think give me your feedback i personally think that she is correct because after even watching the movie with um the one love movie i think she is correct yeah me think she correct you know me think she right with what she she said um so the article is stating that there will be no bob marley without rita marley and that's what the granddaughter said danisha prendergast we don't know which one of them um who whose child is this anyway um danisha prendergast is hailing her grandmother rita marley the queen as the queen of reggae why not think you think sarita the queen of reggae you not think she forget that title there actress and filmmaker danisha prendergast is affirming that bob marley matriarch was the driving force behind her grandfather's success legacy and introduction to rastafari declared that there will be no bob marley without rita marley but yes rita was the one who introduced bob marley to rastafarianism Kaba Mali was a ballad before he turned Rasta. <coughs> it looked like that when he was in the 19s, he turned Rasta. Rebel Girls, Good Night Stories episode. That's what she was speaking on. Right? So, the granddaughter was saying, and she's Sharon Marley, who is the granddaughter of Rita eldest daughter called Sharon Marley. Me no know none of them, the girlie. She never gave up from establishing herself as a musician for fulfilling her dreams of becoming a nurse to inheriting a legacy and responsibility that was so much greater than she was. There would be no Bob Marley if there was no Rita Marley. She isn't often spoken about. She's saying the shadow. Oh, has been in the shadow of my grandfather, which is why you always have me to make sure that you guys know her. So, and basically, we don't really even see Rita Mali come out account chat chat on um, social media and nothing. I look no hype or nothing because, you know, and, and I agree with the, the granddaughter. She not always come out, but people fit talk about her too. After the... Mm, after delving into her grandmother's, grandmother's early beginnings, including that she was born in Santiago, Cuba, on July 25th, 1946, Danisha spoke of her great-grandparents moved to Trenchtown, where Rita's musical career was birthed long before she lay eyes on Bob Marley. My grandma began her songwriting and performing career with the soloette, a group she formed with her cousin Constantine, their friend. Um, anybody watch one little show up on YouTube name? Why name? One Love and Damian Marley in there. I know Damian Marley. I when I Marley them in there. I Steve, let me find it because I watch it the other day. And the girl who was singing, to me, it appears to be a uh, enactment of Rita me not know me not so sure but let me see me fine when you can't watch you and make me know tell me what you think another one here man see it here I know Bob Marley one love in here me know in name one love in a name Bob Marley one love in name one love she celebrate the life and music of an inspired generation through his drama a rust a rust a musician meets a gospel singer when they both enter music contest and something there was in it Damien, a Damien? No, I'm not thinking of Damien. Let me see what, what, the, what, the, um, what a Marley here. Let me see how which Marley this. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you don't know which Marley this, you can't tell me. 
Maybe foot the eye print on which mall it is. <sighs> I try to find a picture with him. Rasta can't live in a tenement yard. Too much chatty, 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 too much so, 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 so. Me can't, me can't study the, the video if you find a picture of this guy. I may probably have to go watch you again, you know. I may probably have to go watch you again to see which one I'm on with them in there, brother. Because that they take up my time. So, Rita Marley granddaughter was saying that Rita don't get the credit where she forget. And she stay in the background or, you know, behind the scenes. She said, my grandmother faced a lot of challenges as early as the silhouettes, solids. She was a girl from the ghetto, and even though, a race, even though racism wasn't a huge thing in Jamaica, classism was, and there was still a very big barrier that she had to find ways to nav navigate. And she went on to say that her grandmother passed away, that her grandfather passed away, um... The grandmother sacrificed a lot of things to make sure people wouldn't forget him. You know, and she said that she think that's what kept her grandmother moving. That's what kept Rita moving. And she think Rita would want to see her legacy preserved in a way that brings light to many of the things that she done quietly. You know? So, they need to make a movie with Rita Marley now. And tell her side of the story. They need to tell Rita Marley's side of the story now. That's what I'm saying. Make a movie with Rita Marley now. What about that? Listen, YG Marley hit song as a proof that reggae is not dead. Bounty Hale's YG Marley hit song. All right. Declaring that YG Marley single, Praise Join the Moonlight. You know, some men are men are hear that song, yeah. On Wednesday, the Warlord said this song's success not only affirmed that reggae genre remains the world's greatest, but it was not on the decline, as some people argue. Who are who say reggae dead and only for the bigot dead? <laughs> About the killer saw that you know. Watch a liquor youth come out with fire reggae song that's storming through every chart worldwide. A child still lead the way, he wrote on Instagram. So my fellow Jamaicans, stop singing the F U C K R Y and sing world language. We we have the biggest music. I hope you taking one advice. This song released independently on December 27 and reached a new peak on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, number 39, after spending four weeks on the chart. And there's a lot more about this music, so you can go on, go listen to it. Yeah. I think Scatterbarrel also mentioned something about it. It said, um, an Insta in an Instagram post, Kata Borel lamented the absence of new artists with the same level of proneness as the genre legend and what he described as a shift away from the traditional drum and bass or one drop which characterized the music of icons such as Bob Marley. Bob Marley. I may have a video for sure with Wycliffe when he was talking about, um, you know, 
we, when he was a keynote speaker at the Island Music Festival with Shaggy and all of them. One more news. Would the Sizzler, Sizzler get back in visa? Blop, blop, blop. Yeah, man, Sizzler US visa is reinstated. Yeah, great job. Great job to the US immigration and what you call it? US, US immigration and US United States citizenship. US CIS United States citizenship. Whatever, whatever I mean. All right, so Reggae and Dance All Star Sizzler says his US visa was recently reinstated, paving the way for him to headline Boston Dance Hall Reggae Fest series. It August 10. No, it um something they did same ago last year. Um what your name again? Oh, shoot. I never remember any. Wait, where, where your name again? Oh, God. Cargo. No, it Cargo saying it go last year. Boston Reggae Fest. I'm not sure. The artists are not performing the country for a number of years due to visa restrictions. But he was recently granted the opportunity with the help of his management team. They read a statement posted on the Now Apologizing on Instagram on Tuesday. It says, the U.S. is one of the largest markets that welcome his crossover endeavors, and he looks to hit the soil in fine style this summer. Despite reportedly joined with other reggae artists in singing the 2007 Reggae Compassionate Act, signing the 2007 Reggae Compassionate Act, which renounced homophobia and pledge to drop homophobic lyrics from their music sizzler lyrics and vocal criticisms of h-o-m-o-s whatever during his performances remain unchanged his u.s work visa was revoked in 2007 which caused him to cancel numerous tour that year Eight years later, he was granted a three-year work permit and a five-year visitor's visa, allowing him to perform for his 2016 876 tour, which kicked off with Reggae on the River in Garberville, California. The North Coast Journal reported at that time that Reggae on the River Festival had received assurances from controversial headliner Cesar Kalanji management that no derogatory speech will occur. During his performance, the staff is prepared to pull the plug as the show if the dance all star does not follow through. The performance went as planned despite strong protests from the same from some in the community. During a post-performance press conference, Sisla revealed that the petition for a visa getting here was through reggae on the river, naturally, and patriotic, patriot artist agency said so it's a business process. My duty here to do reggae on the river and to try to see if I could get some other shows based on the length of the visa being issued. However, 2019 Sizzler was removed from the Reggae on the River lineup that year because he repeatedly sang about S H O O T I N G gays in the H E A D, according to the California newspaper. So then he denounced Spice for headlining the 2021 Toronto Pride Festival. Contending that righteousness, reggae, and H O M O, you know, the rest of it do not go together. None of them nastiness, boy, ya. Yeah. you'll not corrupt our children anymore, he wrote on his Instagram post. Jamaican artists already know that our indigenous music bashes against H O M O and L E S B. I don't have to spell it out because I don't know what that means. We Jamaicans bash against anything that is corrupt and misleading to our nations. People, do not mix reggae and dance out with your evil nasty ways. No to the G-U-N-S. No to the M. No to the L. No to the P. No to all what's wrong and going against our culture. When we say no to the P, I mean pedophilia. <laughs> Me no, I don't think me mean no to the pum pum. 
<laughs> Why? Anyway, in 2022, during a performance in Jamaica, Sizzler declared that he would not stop rebuking HOMO and that he did not care whether or not he was granted a visa. No man can't tell me if you know no, they be man them. You want to stop bun be man for get visa? You must say mad. You must say mad man. Hear me now. See the whole of me visa them here so. At my fans are my visa, you hear, he said. He did not spare the L group too. No L woman inside my house, inside the house. Think you no know, get where there's a balance. That was what Sizzla said. <laughs> Sizzla said, yo, me no care about no visa, you know. Me a born B man a born LB, LB Anyway, during another performance at the event in the Jamaica last July, Sizzla brought up the matter of his U.S. visa again. At the time, there was a diplomatic no between the U.S. and Jamaica, which reportedly began brewing after Andrew Olness administration refused to accredit the same SEX post of an American diplomat. Beeman F off and left Jamaica. <laughs> Beeman F off and left Jamaica. I want to keep on a visa too. He said while on stage. I miss say uno a promote the man flag up a American embassy. Me not too want go up there. <laughs> so, if me not get no visa for go America, I know no problem. Since I stated on Tuesday, noted that he was without his U.S. travel documents. He had been taking his talents to other countries, including Japan in 2023. He said he has always been busy building Judgment Yard in August Town, St. Catherine, and connecting as many artists, including Burna Boy, Chancey Rapper, Bounty Killer, and many other locally and internationally. Great job, um, great job, Sizzler. Great job, Sizzler Kalanji. The statement added his um, return to the United States will allow more opportunities for him there and fans in Boston and the rest of the nation are urged to gear up for upcoming announcements. So big up yourself, Sisla Kalanji, you know, you keep your, um, you keep your, your what you're calling now, your beliefs and you stand by what you believe and nobody can take away that from you. Stand by what you believe. If you get the visa, you get it. If you not get it, I saw. You know? So, we want to say congratulations to Sizzler for acquiring his U.S. visa another time. And nobody can tell him if you not know, you know, you know, man, you know? Because at that time, that thing I do. All right, so... You don't know, say, I was talking so loud. I think the headset I had on was muffling the sound. So I didn't realize I was talking so loud. And in a video I did, it talks about Bob Marley catalog, One Love. And may I go go through one day and just play Bob Marley music. Listen to my ears and sing it. <laughs> just listen and sing Because you know me can't play, but me can't sing it. If me feel like. So that's the end of this video, guys. Let me know what you think. Drop a like. Drop a share. Thank you guys for all your support. And I said I was going to go ahead and big up some people. And another time. Let me see. Let me see something. Let me see. Let me see something real quick and fast. <laughs> so I want to big up a lot of people guys big up all those persons who watch my video comment on the video um, 
I'm looking to see if it, if I can find the newest and my latest subscriber them. Um, let me see if I can find my latest subscriber them. Oh my God. Impressions that lead to watch time. Okay. All right, someone big up all those persons. Let me see who are from. Let me find the places, audience. My direct. Okay. Subscribe, who turn on notifications for your channel. Um, only 28%. Guys, I'm not pleased to turn on the notification. Turn on the notification bell so you can know when I upload another video. And uh, this is showing that, oh my God, in the last 28 days, 90% people who watch my video, them is not subscribed. You know. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. When you watch a video, subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. No, the other day I was looking at a video and I was talking about the number of people who watch my videos and it has increased because it was 75% male. But no, guess what? No, no, the female, them over out on the male, 54% female and 45% male. So that's a good look. I mean, yeah, we can balance it out, but we glad the females, them are support. You understand? Then uh, we want to big up the, the viewers in US. My top viewing country is US. Second place is Jamaica. Big up my Jamaicans. Um, also, we have UK. We have Canada. Trinidad and Tobago. Whoa. We never know some me people from TNT. I watch my channel. Big up all the Trinidad and Tobago fans. Big gonna up every time. Big up, big up, you know, big up to all the different countries. That is very, very good. You know, some me not always check my analytics, but it's always good to check it and just big up the people. Them, um, we have oh no, 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 you don't know the thing set up. Um, I may also want, let me see, let me go back here. So, dashboard. Go on my dashboard and see. Okay. Um, most recent subscribers. Me just I got call out some subscribers. Let me see, in the last, let me say last seven days. Do I get any sub? In the last seven days, okay, let me do in the last 28 days. In the last 28 days, last seven days, last 28 days. Okay, so in the last 28 days, we have Music Lover, thanks for subscribing. Shanisa Garrick, 4S1 Family, big up yourself. And thank you for subscribing. Stafford, Marigold, Cal, Garfield, Japheth, big up yourself. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Let me go to the last 90 days and see. Oh, as, okay. Last 90 days, Unruly One Style, Andrew McLeod, Japheth, Richard, let me see. Garth Top Prize. George Wallace, Poor House, Margot Production. This is the last 90 days. Steve Nine, Cal Turkle, Massimo 187, Garfi Williams, Invest, Big Up Yourself, Invest, Stafford Mus, uh, Mullins. Thank you for subscribing in the last 90 days. I mean, this is a one, four one S family already. Dubs, Shanicea, Shanice Garrick, Diane Doorway. Stampede, Lamy, Music Lover, Jalen and Railing Show, McCurtry, um, Bitters Record, Andrew Samuels, Barber Magic, Busy247. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel.
thank you for subscribing in the last 90 days and since starting today as soon as like when we come on and i do a video or so um we can probably make it a part of my duty for for subscribe for, um big up the subscriber them and remember i have channel membership so those who want to see in exclusive inclusive <laughs> exclusive those who want to see content that i will normally just put up on youtube just you know yeah who want to see stuff that's not in the general population or no can subscribe to the channel um to the membership subscribe to the membership all right so right now let me see some of the comment them some of my latest comment big up for persons who comment once you comment that's a way for you to interact with the video whether the comment is positive negative or in between because that's our youtube want to see youtube want to see interaction with the video them and many if you do better for responding but sometimes we just drop a art you know but youtube want to see interaction with the video so guys please and thanks so much for your comments because missy even that video here that queen video here wally one whole bag of comment and that's very very good you know sometimes um you know we appreciate i appreciate everything 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 you understand and for those who forget there's a i have a super thanks button and also once the video is premiering or if i'm alive there's a super chat button that can be used i also have a paypal no cash up button and that is displayed on my screen at all times so if you like the content and you like what go on and you want to show me some support i greatly appreciate it but right now may i go end the video here and when they ask the whole time anyway <laughs> I can't believe you said and did there so the whole time. I when I read the screen, you know, I never they see what I go on. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for checking out this video. Big up yourself. Um, you know, right about now, I go log off for this because I have two videos I may go upload. One may go upload and then edit. The next one may go upload and um may go upload. Well, that one here is pre-recorded, so now we see it as a premiere. Or some people will see it as a video if they don't catch a premiere. Alright, thank you guys for watching and stay safe.